such an august gathering for my talk today. Uh, I'll be talking essentially on the subject which is there in the slide before you, <coughs> energizing the Indian aerospace industry, specifically on mapping the change and uh, how things will progress in the future. Uh, as the Deputy Chief, I am primarily responsible for capital procurement and this is of the order of roughly about 40,000 crores per annum. In addition to this, another at least 10,000 crores per annum from the revenue side goes towards acquisitions in some small form or the other. So, looking at it holistically, Indian Air Force spends something of the order of about 50,000 crores every year in procurement from the aviation industry. So, exactly focused towards all what you people make, either here, abroad, or elsewhere. So 50,000 crores per annum, year on year, year on year, we spend. The Indian Air Force alone. I'm not talking about the other services, I'm just talking about the Indian Air Force itself. The Indian Air Force mission statement is as shown on this slide. Let me read it out for you for more emphasis. Responsive, credible and adaptable aerospace power with strategic reach and full spectrum capabilities to safeguard our national interests. That is our mission statement. And at the very outset, let me emphasize that this will not be possible without an aerospace industry which is indigenized and fully capable of supplying our needs at any time. That is not only the opening statement, but is also the bottom line. Before getting down to what exactly the Indian Air Force intends to do in the at present or in the future, let me look at some of the desired capabilities that we look to induct in our Air Force. First, we are plan to undertake full spectrum all weather 24-7 network-centric operations, both offensive as well as defensive. We intend to enhance our effect-based and special operations capability, enhance our intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capability, and also our precision strike capability, enhance our airlift and helilift capability, and create the operational infrastructure to support all our operations. These are the desired capabilities which will further flow down to various procurement which we will do in future. Uh, why the need for modernization? I don't think that is something which needs to be asked, but let me state it right up front. The Indian Air Force is inherently a technologically intensive service. A human being can easily march, he may even swim, but if he has to get airborne, he has to have technology with him. That's a given. Our modernization plans are to induct state-of-the-art weapon systems and upgrade all our ex effect existing weapon systems to retain their operational relevance. This is what is very important. Let me first touch upon what is our most important, I would say, drawback that we face today. And that is our fighter fleet. We have inadequate capability as of now and our primary focus in our acquisition process is towards the fighter fleet. In the fighter fleet, we have a requirement for a contemporary multi-role fighter aircraft to replenish our declining stock which way back in the year 2002 was about 42 squadrons and has come down perilously low. 31 squadrons today and therefore this forms a core procurement focus and that is for a multi-role combat fighter. Our future inductions as is well known and is being discussed for the wrong reasons is the Rafale which is likely to come in from next year onwards from September into our inventory and will continue to be procured till we reach the number of 36 by the year 2022. 